Polk County is still experiencing flooding in the areas along the Trinity River and below the Lake Livingston Dam, mostly because of the discharge from the dam. East Texas News Weekend's Vanessa Johnson visited the Holiday Lake Estates community to see how they're dealing with this flooding. Many areas in Polk County are still in water. The Holiday Lake Estates community is only one area that experienced severe flooding. Arthur West, the fire chief at their community's volunteer fire department, says the flooding was worse during the week. We actually had kind of a reprieve yesterday, but last night uh, we got hit pretty hard. While some residents have evacuated the area, others stayed behind to tough it out. Those that have stayed are receiving support from the community. They're still going to need clothing. They're still going to need bedding. They're still going to need food stuff. People are donating items like clothing, food, and toiletries. Those donations are then taken by volunteers via boats and jet skis to residents who are still in their homes. We can't sit and wait for the government to show up. We've got to do something now. And that's what we're doing. Hot meals were also donated. The 400 meals that were served were possible with donations that came from the Lufkin community. We saw a need and we just, we acted. Yes, we knew there was a lot of trapped people back there that weren't able to get out, go get supplies and groceries. Fire Chief West, whose home also flooded, is just looking to the future and hoping that the water will continue to decrease. When it's not flooding, you couldn't ask for a more peaceful, quieter place. It's like having a hole in your roof. As long as it ain't raining, it's good. The Lake Livingston Dam is still discharging more than 100,000 cubic feet per second. But weather conditions are looking better, aside from a slight chance of rain tonight and tomorrow. Vanessa Johnson, East Texas News Weekend. The Dunbar Gym Shelter is still available for anyone needing assistance because of the flooding. The American Red Cross said that they will stay as long as they are needed.